It's Monday, April 14th, 2014, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at xdadevelopers.com. <laughs> The Samsung Galaxy S5 has finally been released, and our own Will Verdusco has put together a story for the portal discussing everything a new S5 user can do with their device, such as rooting, installing custom recoveries, even backing up and restoring the EFS partition. Links to all of those things can be found within Will's article, so if it sounds interesting to you, make sure to head on over to the portal to get the details. Moving right along, the Sony Xperia Z2, which launched earlier this year at Mobile World Congress, has some very interesting software features. Thanks to XDA senior member Xperia Z2, one of these features, X-Reality Photo and Video Enhancement, is now available for any Xperia device running Jelly Bean or KitKat. This feature could really help improve the color quality and sharpness of your images and video, and installation simply requires flashing a zip file from Clockwork Mod and making a minor change to your build prop file. So if you're an Xperia device owner running Jelly Bean or KitKat, take a look at his forum thread for all the details as well. And speaking of porting camera software, we had not one, but two ports of the Nokia X's camera app over to any device running Jelly Bean or higher as of this weekend. XDA senior member Xperia Z2, who has apparently been very busy, did one of the ports, and XDA senior member OpSemnik did the other. From what I've gathered, OpSemnik's port might be a little bit more stable than Xperia Z2's, so if you're interested in trying out the new camera app that comes with the Nokia X, which actually brings in some really neat features like better ISO sensitivity control, live histograms, red eye reduction, anti-banding, and lots, lots more, take a look at that portal story for the links to both of their forum threads. Next up, we've talked quite a bit over the last few months about art. Well, if you're running KitKat and you've been dying to try it out, but you can't because either you don't want to enable developer tools on your device, but why wouldn't you want to enable it? Or simply because your device may not have the option on there. Now there is not one, but again, two ways to flash over from Dolvik to Art, or vice versa, by using Aroma. The first method seems to have come out of a story that I somehow missed last week, and it was done by XDA senior member Husin for you. It requires flashing two different zip files over to your device, one for going to art and then one for coming back to Dalvik. The newer method though, which sort of builds on top of that work, was done by XDA senior member Hugnuknuknuknifs. I know it kind of sounds like a sneeze. This requires flashing but just one zip to your device, and it allows you to choose between Art and Delvic easily from your recovery. So if this sounds interesting to you, if like I said, you haven't been able to go to Art yet for some reason or another, head on over to check out those two forum threads to get yourself a little bit of Art loving. And finally, Chainfire released a new well, a sort of a new app this weekend called CF Lumen. It's actually an app that's based upon a plugin that used to be made available through Chainfire 3D, and basically it allows you to change the color temperature of your device's screen. It can even intelligently change the device's color based upon the time of day. So, you know, when the sun's up, the sun's down, it's gonna be a different color in the evening, so it's a little easier on your eyes. It can also change it to a red color or whatever else you want it to be during sleeping hours. So if you pick up your device in the middle of the night, you're not gonna kill your night vision. It's gonna be a red color that's a little easier to see. Very, very awesome stuff there. And it's even got features to help out with people with color blindness. So there's a couple of different color blindness options there. I tested out the free version on my device for a couple of days and it's definitely interesting and useful if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. You can even pay to unlock some of your useful features like having it start on boot and removing the nag features that are in there. I think it's only a couple of dollars and of course you can find a link to it down in the portal post. I'll put a link to that in the video description as usual. But you know what? I think that's going to be about all for me for today. Remember that I always put the links to all the stories I talk about down in the video description as well as the links to my YouTube channels if you want to see more about what I'm doing. Also remember to hit that like button down below the video if you like this video and subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching though, and I will see you next time.